And then we're really excited about projects uh, such as Island Voices with digitizing a thousand hours of uh, oral histories created by Dutch Thompson, who's uh, a character a lot of Islanders know. We hear him on the CBC. I started about 20 years ago uh, with the idea that I would actually gather some stories uh, about my own family, about my grandparents and their parents, my great-grandparents. Well, what I do is I go uh, out uh, with my little uh, Sony TC-142, uh, which is an old-fashioned tape recorder that was used for years by the CBC. Uh, I knock on people's doors, uh, in usually f folks that have been recommended uh, by, by other people to me and I'll uh, ask them questions uh, if, if, uh, if, if they'll let me in their house, and then I'll, I'll sit down. And we literally start from the day they were born, and uh, we run through, was there a midwife? Was there a doctor? Did, the, did, your, did you know your grandparents? Did they have any home remedies? It made me realize that the people I was talking to, they saw the first cars, they had the first telephones, the first, the first radios, the first electricity. I think the reason that I went after the stories was because I realized that th there was a generation that was unique, I think, anyway, and that they saw all these firsts, and we were losing their stories. In my collection, I probably have uh, 900 hours and counting of audio and videotapes. Uh, so I had all this, all this information, and it was getting old, and uh, tapes fall apart, and uh, what's, what was going to happen to them. So this has always been a major concern of mine. It's all, all on shelves at home in my office. But if, I, if the information is not being shared, what good is it? Anyway, the f folks I'm hoping who access uh, all my tapes and, and the photographs on this site will, uh, will, will be able to do, do research from everything from, from the family tree if they're doing uh, genealogy. Uh, and that's a huge business here on PEI. A lot of folks come to the island just to do their family tree. I don't think there was ever any question that, that certain families always looked at island history as part of the fabric of their life.